chosen ones, do you feel the unstoppable force within you, pushing you to rise, evolve, and conquer what the world tries to hide from you? How will you use the anointing God has placed on your life to break through the systems meant to hold you back? The systems of this world are meticulously designed to suppress, to smother, and to suffocate. They don't care about your spirit, your uniqueness, or your potential. Their purpose is to make you small, to shove you into molds not built for you, to strip away your individuality. They pull you into routines that dull your soul, the daily grind of school, the ceaseless pressures of work, the endless march of demands that squeeze the breath from your chest. These systems are cages, silent, invisible, but undeniably real. They weave chains around your mind and heart, convincing you that mediocrity is your destiny and compromise is your calling. But you, chosen one, were never meant to be trapped in these systems. God is raising you up to tear down the structures that aim to keep you in spiritual and mental servitude. You feel the pressure, don't you? The world pushes on you from every angle, demanding that you fit in, that you conform, that you silence the voice inside you calling for more. They tell you to sit down when you're meant to stand. They tell you to follow the script, but the script was never written for someone like you. God sees the fire inside you, one that refuses to be extinguished. This is why you feel the tension so strongly. You were not made to live in a box, suffocated by the systems that value productivity over purpose, routine over revelation. The world tries to blind you to your own strength, tries to drown you in noise so you can't hear God's whisper telling you to rise. But you are rising. Every moment of resistance, every pushback against conformity is a signal. You are being prepared for war. The battle isn't easy, it's not for the faint of heart. But you were never called to a life of ease. You were called to break chains, to tear down the strongholds that keep others in bondage. And you will not fail. When Lucifer fell, the earth became his playground. His influence seeps into the very fabric of society, manipulating systems and powers to twist and bind the human spirit. You see it, don't you? The subtle manipulation, the orchestrated fear that paralyzes. These systems, government, education, media, aren't neutral structures. They are battlegrounds where demonic forces bend leaders and institutions to their will, making sure that you remain locked in a state of spiritual amnesia. They thrive on your fear, your doubt, your inability to see the chains they've fastened around you. The influence is not loud or dramatic. It's insidious, crawling into every corner of your existence. It wears down your defenses, numbing your ability to discern truth. These systems tell you what to think, how to act, what to fear. You're bombarded with endless noise, a torrent of distraction designed to keep you from hearing the truth of who you are. The world wants you afraid, confused, and shackled to its ways. Every time you feel overwhelmed, anxious, and hopeless, it's because the system is doing its job, its job of keeping you far from the freedom you were promised. But you are not powerless. You are not a puppet for these dark forces to manipulate. God sees beyond the fear they try to instill in you, beyond the lies they whisper. He is raising you up, sharpening you for a fight you were born to win. You are a warrior, whether you feel it now or not. Every time you resist the fear, every time you question the lies, you break their hold. These demonic forces want you blind, but you are beginning to see. And once your eyes are fully open, the system will quake under the weight of the power God is stirring within you. You were never meant to live under the dominion of darkness. You were meant to crush it. The world you live in is a battlefield for your mind, and the enemy is relentless. Mind control, consumerism, social media, and materialism are not harmless distractions. They are chains designed to keep you unaware of your captivity. Every advertisement, every curated post, every flashing image is a link in a vast network of deception that surrounds you. These systems do not simply seek to influence your thoughts. They seek to imprison them. They weave a false reality, a prison for your mind, where you may never even realize you're trapped. Mind control isn't some distant concept. It's the subtle molding of your desires and fears by forces that want you distracted and numb. Consumerism tells you that you are incomplete without the next product, that your worth is tied to your possessions. Social media feeds on your insecurities, 
flooding your thoughts with comparisons, superficial validation, and a craving for approval that can never truly be satisfied. Materialism convinces you that success is defined by accumulation, by how much you own, all while draining your spirit of true meaning and connection. You may feel as though you are making your own choices, but these systems are designed to keep you operating within their narrow confines. They keep you so focused on the next thing, the next purchase, the next trend, that you don't even realize the walls closing in around you. Your mind is bombarded by a constant stream of information meant to dull your awareness, to make you feel comfortable in your captivity. But God is calling you out of that prison. He is ripping the veil from your eyes so you can see the bars that surround you, bars built by a world that does not want you free. He is awakening you to the truth that you were never meant to live in bondage to these systems. You are being set apart, chosen to rise above the noise, to reclaim your mind and spirit, and to shatter the illusions that have kept you confined. The prison walls are crumbling, and you will not be held captive any longer. Do you feel as if God may be calling you to join the Obsidian Inner Order? Powered by Astral Atom and available on Patreon, this is your gateway to true liberation. What if the pull you're feeling, the sense that there's more beyond the illusions, is because you were anointed to beat the system? Could it be that the world around you is designed to trap you, keeping you stuck in cycles of distraction, consumption and confinement? And what if stepping into the inner order is your way to access uncensored truths, the kind YouTube won't let us show, because they know it has the power to set you free? This knowledge might only be meant for those ready to break out, those chosen by God to rise above the noise and claim their spiritual authority. What if the inner order, powered by astral atom, offers the tools, like the modern manifestation mechanics grimoire, you need to reclaim your mind and fortify your spirit. Could it be the place where we reveal secrets that shatter the chains keeping you bound, while you connect with other chosen ones who are also breaking free? If you're tired of the system's tricks, if you're questioning the lies, then maybe this is your chance to step into your divine power. The link is in the description on Patreon. What if this is the path to becoming the warrior you were always meant to be? You are not like everyone else. The world may try to convince you that you are just another cog in the machine, but God has marked you for something greater. The system around you, the one you move through daily, is designed to keep you quiet, compliant and blind. It's a system of control, a web of lies spun so tightly that many never even sense it. But you feel it, don't you? The weight pressing on your spirit, the whisper in your soul that tells you this isn't the life you were meant to live. God has raised you up to see what others cannot. You are called to break free from the suffocating grip of these systems, the institutions and powers that thrive on your fear, your silence, your obedience. You are not a slave to these forces. You are a warrior chosen to tear them down. Like the oppressed who rise, who refuse to bow, you have been given the vision and strength to challenge what others blindly accept. Your purpose is not to conform, but to disrupt, to challenge, to ignite a fire that others have forgotten how to feel. The world wants you numb, disconnected, consumed by distractions and false promises. Every screen, every headline, every voice is designed to keep you in line, to stop you from seeing the bars that surround you. But God has shattered the illusion for you. He's given you the eyes to see through the facade, and now he's calling you to act. You were not meant to be passive, a spectator in a world of darkness. You are a warrior, forged in the fires of resistance, sharpened by the battles of the soul. God has chosen you because you can withstand what others cannot. He's placed a sword in your hand and a fire in your heart, not just to break your own chains, but to set others free. The battle is not distant. It is here now and you are at the center of it. Rise up and the system will fall. Satan was cast out of heaven, expelled like lightning, and since that moment, his influence has permeated the earth. Revelation chapter 12 verse 9 speaks of his downfall, but his work didn't end there. He now prowls across the world, weaving his deception into every corner of society. You walk through a world where the unseen enemy holds dominion, as 1 John chapter 5 verse 19 declares, the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. 
The system you see every day, its greed, its corruption, its suffocating rules, are all under his shadow, and it seeks to keep you blind to the truth. Satan, the so-called God of this world, as 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 reveals, has blinded the minds of unbelievers. He operates through subtle chains, distracting, distorting, keeping countless souls from seeing the light. You feel it in the very fabric of society, how easy it is to slip into complacency, to accept the hollow promises of material gain, success and worldly validation. These are traps, prisons of false comfort, and you know this world isn't your true home. It's a battleground, and you have been called to fight. But Christ has set you free. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 commands you to stand firm and not be entangled again in the chains that once held you. You are not a victim, drifting in the current of the world's chaos. You are free, chosen to rise, chosen to break the grip that Satan and his systems have on those around you. God has given you clarity, the ability to see the lies for what they are, and with that vision comes responsibility. You must resist the pull to return to those old chains, the ones you felt tightening around your soul. The battle is real, the stakes are high, but Christ's victory is your weapon. You have the authority to reject the lies, to stand firm in truth, and to fight against the systems that seek to drag you and others back into bondage. This world's chains have no hold on you. God is calling you to a battlefield far more important than anything you see with your eyes, the battlefield of your mind. This is where transformation begins. Without it, you remain shackled to the world's systems, bound by the lies and illusions that have shaped your thinking for years. The call to renew your mind isn't just a suggestion, it's a divine command, a critical step in your liberation. The world is relentless in its attempt to condition you, to mold you into a vessel that serves its purposes rather than God's. It whispers falsehoods that distract you from your true calling, enticing you with hollow promises of success, pleasure and comfort. But God is calling you to break free from this prison, and it starts with the mind. When God first calls you, his command echoes the path of Abraham. You must leave behind the environments where false gods are worshipped whether that's literal idols or the modern-day gods of materialism, power and fame. These places and mindsets are traps designed to keep you ensnared. Like Abraham, your first act of obedience is to walk away from what you've known, from the world's ways that have long controlled you. This is not just a physical departure, but a mental one, a shedding of the mindset that has been shaped by the world. God is calling you to a higher way of thinking, one that aligns with his truth, not the deceptions that have kept you small and confined. The transformation of your mind is the weapon you wield in this war. When you renew your mind, you break the chains that have held you to fear, doubt and insecurity. The world's systems thrive on your ignorance, but when you align your thoughts with God's truth, you gain clarity, power and vision. Your mind, once a battlefield dominated by darkness, becomes a fortress of light. God is giving you the tools to reclaim your thoughts, to drive out the lies, and to become the warrior you were destined to be. Without this renewal, you remain a prisoner. With it, you become unstoppable. False gods don't always stand before you in obvious idols. They hide themselves in the familiar, the comfortable, the traditions you've been taught to embrace without question. You walk through a world saturated with rituals that seem harmless on the surface, yet their roots reach deep into a history of deception. Holidays like Valentine's Day and Easter are not merely moments of celebration, but veils that cover the worship of false gods. You've been conditioned to see them as innocent, as culture and tradition, but behind the mask, these systems are designed to divert your worship away from the true God. Valentine's Day whispers of love, but it's a love wrapped in materialism urging you to equate worth with gifts and gestures shaped by society, not by the word of God. Beneath its surface lies a false idol, urging you to seek validation and meaning in human affection, rather than in the love that comes from God alone. The world praises this day as a celebration of love, but it subtly leads you to idolize fleeting emotions and physical gratification, drawing you away from the eternal love of the Creator. Easter too is wrapped in disguises, 
What many celebrate as a day of resurrection is overshadowed by symbols and practices rooted in ancient fertility worship, a distortion that drowns out the true power of Christ's victory over death. Bunnies, eggs, and the commercialization of this sacred event shift focus from the resurrection of the Savior to pagan symbols that have nothing to do with the power of the cross. These are not innocent traditions. They are deliberate distractions, steering the mind and heart away from the sacred truth that should define these days. You are called to see through the disguises, to tear off the masks and recognize the false worship embedded in these traditions. God is awakening you to the truth. These systems have been designed to keep you spiritually numb, to keep you from realizing the depth of your faith. You were not made to follow blindly. You were made to see, to break free, and to restore true worship. You are standing at a critical threshold. The truth has been revealed to you, and it cannot be unseen. This world, with all its distractions, comforts, and illusions, seeks to keep you numb, unaware of the chains around your spirit. Yet God has chosen you because you have eyes to see and ears to hear. You see the systems designed to imprison the false realities that others accept without question. But you, chosen one, cannot live in blindness any longer. Awareness is the first act of defiance. You have been called to act because you understand what many refuse to even acknowledge. The true freedom begins in the mind, and the chains that bind people are spiritual before they are ever physical. As Rosa Parks knew, no one can be freed if they do not first realize they are enslaved. And so many are walking through life in shackles, believing they are free, their minds caged by systems that feed them lies about their worth, their identity, and their purpose. The world thrives on this ignorance, on keeping people locked in a false sense of security. But you, chosen one, see beyond this facade. God has unveiled your eyes so that you can rise and declare the truth in a world that thrives on deception. This awakening is not without cost. To truly see, to truly hear, requires you to step outside the comfortable, the familiar. You are called to disturb the slumbering masses, to be the voice that breaks the silence. This is why you have been chosen, because you can no longer live in passive acceptance of the world's lies. Your awareness is not a gift to keep for yourself. It is a command to act, to speak, to pull others from the grip of their invisible chains. God has armed you with the truth, and now you must wield it. The battle is real, and your awakening is your weapon. The world will resist you, but you will stand, because you know the chains are not just around the others. They are around the very foundation of the world, and you, chosen one, are here to break them. God is calling you to rise, to stand against the systems of this world that have woven a web of deception around the hearts and minds of humanity. These systems are not neutral. They are chains forged in spiritual darkness, designed to enslave, to lull you into compliance with their shallow promises of security and success. But you, chosen one, have been awakened. God is raising you up, sharpening you for battle, because you have been entrusted with the truth that others cannot yet see. True freedom does not come from escaping worldly struggles or accumulating wealth and power within these systems. No, freedom comes only through Jesus Christ, who has shattered the chains of sin and death, opening the way to a life that transcends the empty promises of this world. The world will tell you to submit, to blend in, to bow to its false gods of materialism, status and pleasure. But God is calling you to fight, to break away from these systems and live according to the laws of his kingdom, where true peace, justice and freedom reside. The systems of this world are built to enslave, convincing you that your value lies in how much you consume, how much you own, and how well you perform. But you know better. Christ has already set you free, and with that freedom comes responsibility. You are called to not only live outside of these systems, but to pull others from their grip. You were chosen because God knows you have the strength, the vision, and the courage to defy the world's expectations. This is not a battle of flesh and blood, but of spirit and truth. You are called to be a beacon, to challenge the lies that have enslaved so many, and to lead them toward the true freedom found in Christ alone. God is raising you as a warrior in his kingdom, not to simply survive, but to conquer, to liberate, and to usher in the reign of his truth. Stand firm, 
because the fight is real and your call is undeniable. You are called to rise above the systems that have kept you bound and break free into the true freedom that only God's kingdom offers. The chains of this world, its expectations, its distractions, its false gods, cannot hold you because you have been chosen for something far greater. God has placed his purpose within you, a purpose that demands you step out of the world's illusions and stand firm in his truth. You're not just a bystander, you are a warrior, entrusted with the power to lead others toward the same freedom you now grasp. God loves you deeply, and his purpose for your life is not small or ordinary. It is vast, profound, and urgent. You have been set apart to challenge the lies, to break the chains that enslave others, and to stand as a beacon of hope in a world that desperately needs light. The freedom you now know is not only for you, it is for those who are still trapped, waiting for someone bold enough to show them the way. And that someone is you. So now the time has come for action. Share your story. Speak boldly of the freedom you have found. Your voice has power, and your testimony can lead others out of darkness. You are chosen, and the world needs your light.